Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Aman, and in this session, we're gonna see how to create a dynamic parameter. Uh, that means if I want to check the count for business function as per region, okay, then uh, I need to create one visual, okay. Let's see by example. Suppose I want to check the count for business function as per region. So I'm getting the count, okay. But if uh, I want to check the count for uh, education as per region, then I need to create another dash, another visual. If I want to check the count for job level as per region, I need to create another visual. But I want to create only one visual and I can see the count for business function, uh, job level as well as education as per region in the same visual itself. So how, uh, like, is it possible? It is possible with dynamic. Uh, parameter okay let's see how to create uh, the dynamic parameter and guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it uh, now let's create a parameter I'll create one parameter that's gonna be dynamic field you can give whatever name you would like to give I'll keep it as a string single value and here I need to uh, uh, give one default value of my field any of the field so I'll give education create control here I'll give name dynamic which I want to show in my parameter dynamic field Oh, text field gonna be drop down it's in a specific value I need to pass I need to sorry uh, put those uh, uh, column names okay uh, so business function another is education another is a uh, job level okay and I need to hide this option add so I get this uh, parameter but I need not to pass this parameter in the filter uh, instead I need to create one uh, calculated column okay but uh, before that I need to check so if I click here on uh, education so I'm getting the count for business function only and if I click on job level, I'm getting the count for business function only. Why? Because uh, in our field, well, in our rows, we have business function. Okay. So we need to create a dynamic field. Uh, uh, so I need to create a calculated column. I will give name as dynamic field. Okay. I'll use if else function and in the parameter. I'll select this dynamic field so if my dynamic field is equal to uh, business function then, then sorry uh, business function okay and guys uh, this business function this business function is the actual field in the in our data set okay and this is the manual entry which we have put in a specific uh, uh, field okay remember while creating the parameter we have provided three value three values three names that is business one is business function another is education another is a uh, job level okay so that are those entries and this is the actual column if my dynamic field is equal to business function then this column will come okay and if dynamic field is equal to uh, education then education else in else part what will come the third one job level okay so I have written here this if else condition uh, and now we gonna we need to save it and instead of this business function to make it dynamic to make uh, so we need to replace this uh, uh, business function field with 
uh, our dynamic field okay which we have created just now and whenever you are creating a uh, calculated column so it is always represented with this equal to sign fine so I will uh, replace this field with our dynamic field now let's check if I'm going to select this business function I'm getting the count for business function right if I'm uh, selecting this education I'm getting the count for education if job level then getting this fine guys so this is how it works this para dynamic parameter uh, uh, let me publish this dashboard so I'll give name dynamic parameter okay now I will copy it what happened let's check whether our report is working fine or not business function yes education job level so guys our this dynamic parameter is working fine and you can also try okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestion then please let me know uh, till then take care thank you for watching my videos yeah bye bye